Hello everyone, this is Shovik and you are watching College Level Physics. Today I am going to give a brief review about the book uh, The Introduction to Electrodynamics by David J. Griffiths. And to be honest, this is the one of the best book I have read on this topic, Electrodynamics. And so let's see what are the contents of this book first. Here are the contents, as you can see the vector analysis, first chapter, then electrostatics, then potential and electric fields in matter, then magnetostatic, magnetic fields in matter, then electrodynamics, conservation laws, then electromagnetic waves, radiation, electrodynamics and relativity, and then at last potential and fields. So I'm going to show you the first chapter, what it looks like. And this is the vector analysis part and this book covers almost all the basic formulas you need to know to solve problems on this topic so please go through the first chapter if you have this book which is very much useful not only for electrodynamics but also for mathematical physics and other branches of physics if you encounter with the vector algebra as you can see there are a lot of solved example in this book so you will find it helpful There are position displacement for us and vectors, so on and so forth, and then how vectors transform under rotation. Then comes the tensor part here. If you can see this thing, which is very much useful. Then comes the problems. And it is also very useful that each section contains at least three to four problems which you can do at your own. So there are ordinary derivatives and then gradients. Therefore, also examples there and problems are given. And then the del operator, then divergence and curl and so many things are given I am just fast forwarding this thing otherwise it would be very much boring video so now I am going to show you the and uh, yeah, here is the important thing in f the most important thing in physics is the Dirac delta function you will encounter it in electrodynamics as well as in quantum mechanics in mathematical physics and this book covers the basic details of the Dirac delta function one dimension then comes the three dimensions that some of the properties of delta functions given some of the examples are solved so there are lots of problems you can do at your own so this is I find a very very good book for this topic electrodynamics and you can see there are lots of problems and also now comes the electrostatic part which deals with what is force and fields what is the problems of electrostatics we encounter Coulomb's law then pro the Gauss's law and so on and so forth then some problems solved problems as you can see there there are also some problems given you can do at your own then the field lines flux Gauss's law and there are lots of diagrams given to understand the physical meaning of the topic 
there are so many problems given and the physics are explained in a very elegant way you will find it beautiful as you go on reading and the explanations are quite simply explained in easy terms and languages so it won't be that much difficult for you as compared to some other electrodynamics books like um, Jackson's book and other books as you can see there are lots of physics explained of each particular portion or say subtopic then comes the conductor part and so on I'm just skipping this chapter for now and then comes the potential Laplace transform and so on now I am going to the magnetostatic part electric fields from the magnetostatic parts so this book starts with the problem we face by solving magnetostatic or electrostatic and then give us hint how to solve it so as you can see there are lots of examples down here also then some it covers almost all the basic things of electrodynamics for both undergraduate and graduate students so you won't have any problem in your examination if you have practiced enough of this book so there are lots of interesting topics are given just skipping this part then I want to show it has some electrodynamics portion which I found the best part of this book which a very good introduction of this topic can see I am turning the pages there are lots of contents given I won't be able to so show you all the contents of this book probably you should buy that book if you have a course on electrodynamics so there are some conservation chapters which is conservation of momentum and conservation of energy and so on our current flows through a conductor then comes some electromagnetic waves part Maxwell equations and so on how to solve it and then various other things related to Maxwell's equation um, this chapter is also very beautiful radiation which encounters with accelerated charges how it radiates and what is the how it radiates energy and how do we why is the 
sky blue there is a beautiful explanation for this so you must read this part of this book you will get a feel for this topic radiation and there are other very well explained topics i won't be show you this to now and then comes the electrodynamics and relativity which is also well explained but i should say that this is not an special relativity book it has just the introduction part of the special theory of relativity and then deals with the how electrodynamics is related to special theory of relativity when charge moves at the speed of light and so on and but it still serves the purpose so please don't expect it to cover all the topics of special theory of relativity it's just an electrodynamics book and there you go there are potential fields scalar fields vector fields and so on and so forth gauss transformation coulomb gauge lorentz gauge so on and so forth electrons for field tensor there is also dual field tensor electrodynamics in tensor notation so everything is covered in this book not everything most of the thing i should mention so as you can see so that is for today's video i hope you have gathered some of the information regarding this book and thank you again for watching this video have a nice day take care and goodbye